I presume at this point you're using Wailing completely, yes? Or are you using X11? Currently, yes, yeah. Uh, yes, Wait. which? Mm. Yes, Wayland? Yes, X11. Uh, Wayland. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, what is... When did you swap, and what has been, like, your general experience, and what do you feel like still needs to be addressed for your personal use case? Or do you think everything for what you're doing is just basically fine? Hmm... There are some things where I'm not entirely sure who's at fault. Mm -hmm. Like if it's the protocol or if it's the compositor. Mm -hmm. uh, generally speaking, it's mostly... It's it's not most... It's, it's, it's more of the stuff that I don't use regularly, you know, mm -hmm. like something like screencasting. But it's more on the application side rather mm -hmm. than Wayland. Right. Has it come? It has come a long, a long way. I think I'm on Wayland exclusively for a year now. Okay. So quite a long time. And during this time, the, the main things were that they dropped the whole, the whole forest vsync thing and all that, which made the desktop feel smooth but rather slow mm -hmm. when using your mouse and stuff. Like it just felt a bit off. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and because I have two monitors which are both 144 hertz but not quite and i have seen some weird issues where it kind of feels weird mm -hmm. when you when you try to sync them but it has gotten a lot better and i think wayland is almost up to par to x in terms of my overall how, how i experience my desktops mm -hmm. i haven't seen any more crashes or stuff like that but it's more the minor things mm -hmm. like i'm screen cars screen casting and drag and drop doesn't work for some reason in KD Plasma in browsers. I'm not sure if that's a Kwin issue, Wayland issue currently or something. I have noticed things. It. I've noticed it work, but also I've noticed it just not. It seems very hit and miss for me. Like I'll drag a file over, it does nothing. I'll drag a file over, it does nothing. Yeah. Then I drag a file over and it works this time. And I don't know... Mm. I, I don't know if that's, like, what the deal is there, whether it's... Because I think the, the browser I'm running is also a Wayland browser as well, so maybe... I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's definitely some weirdness when it comes to dealing with both X11 and Wayland stuff running at the same time. I, I've noticed, especially when you're dragging files, I think from X Wayland apps into a Wayland app, things might act weirdly. Maybe it's the other way around. Wayland into X Wayland. I don't know. Mm. It, it, it's it's one of those those teething issues that is not broken per se. It's just not as smooth as uh, as you would like it. Yeah, it's, it's I, not perfect yet. That's... Mm. I think that's a good way to put a lot of a lot of what we have with Wayland. It's not broken for most things. There are definitely broken things out there like um i think screen readers on gnome don't work properly on kde they have a workaround for it and if you need a screen reader like you simply need a screen reader um but most things are just it's kind of a little weird and you can get used to it but i do think we're still a good couple of years away from hmm it being completely up to X11. There are, there are certain things, like people, I'll, I'll have people talk to me about, like, network transparency. Like, okay, that's great, but, like, how many people... If you're, if you're using remote desktops, you're using VNC now. You're not, you're not doing X11 network transparency. If you are, mm. you're a very, very tiny group of people. And that's great that you need that feature, but it's not something that most people are going to be bothered by. Like, most mm. people are going to be bothered by the, like, having apps like OBS have their hotkeys work properly. Obviously, OBS is a very special app, but the same problem exists with screen readers for those people. Or um, there's a lot of people that like nightlight apps, for example. And for a long time, uh, Gnome KD didn't have Wayland nightlight apps. Now they do. And... Mm. It's more of those problems that I think are, uh, as more people try out Wayland, it's not the things, 
some people think we're not making progress. It's just as more people try out Wayland, more of these issues are being noticed. No one initially thought that screen tearing, for example, was a feature that anybody would want. Wayland's about perfect frames. And it took three years to convince the developers that this is a feature that people actually want. If you go read the thread, um, the the first comment on the thread about... <laughs> This is a really funny one. The first one, the first comment on the thread about a screen tearing. The guy who first complains, like no one ever wants this, is the guy who ended up merging the merge three years later. <laughs> so it took him a, a while to be like convinced about it, but like that's the problem. I, we we can't ignore these problems that exist on Wayland, even though there's not as many as like, there's not as many key ones that there, there was before getting involved in those discussions and actually trying to resolve them I think at, at, at bare minimum that's what I think need a lot of people need to do and I, I know mm. some people just don't want to get involved in repos and that's fine but at some point these problems someone needs to actually bring them up if you think it's actually a problem mm. yeah I, th I think that the one of the problems that Wayland and also Gnome suffer from is, is some sort of they want to do things properly and secure. Yes, yes. Which is something that slows development down a lot and they don't want to implement more than needs to have. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, I mean, some things are really justified, you know, like why why do we work uh, with X portals or or is it X-Portals or with portals in general on mm -hmm. Wayland? And why do we need to use pipe wire to screencast and, and stuff like that? Those are valid things, but it just slows down development and stuff needs to be implemented later. People need mm -hmm. to be convinced. It just takes a long time. And we are in a transition from X to Wayland. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff just doesn't work yet. A lot of stuff just isn't implemented yet. And many developers need to rewrite their apps as a whole in some mm -hmm. cases if they truly want to have a Wayland native experience. Yeah, it's a lot of work in progress. Mm -hmm. But once Wayland offers basically most things and we have a transition to Wayland in terms of application support, I think the experience will be much better then. Mm -hmm. I do think some of the arguments are kind of ridiculous, though. Um, well. My favorite, <laughs> well, my my favorite thread. I've brought this up so many times. Is the thread about window icons? It's like four hundred comments long about how to implement window icons. It's mm -hmm. it's really dumb, and they they're getting somewhere. Um, but I think Wayland is. The textbook definition of design by committee and <laughs> having too many cooks in the kitchen. Like, because, you know, it's there's no BDFL in Wayland. It's, you have Gnome, KDE, Cosmic, Western, W Roots all have equal voting rights on whether something gets implemented. And <laughs> that's fine when everybody agrees on the rare occasions when they do. But <laughs> there are a lot of cases where Gnome especially doesn't want to do something or they have they have their way they want to implement it. And things get like things get stalled because of it. And it's not always GNOME. Sometimes KDE has problems as well. Sometimes Western has problems. But when you don't have a project leader this is what you get. This is why design mm -hmm. by committee is always discussed as this like really dangerous idea of like how to run a project because it's going to take a long time to get things done. And that might be fine, right? Like we aren't the the clock has been set for Wayland, but if everybody had to swap to Wayland tomorrow oh. besides <laughs> the accessibility stuff, which is a legitimate issue and those people actually couldn't use their computer besides that most people would be fine maybe they wouldn't be happy they'd be they wouldn't be happy mm. but it, de it depends i guess <laughs> most like, things on, on, that pe people are using to work just fine i would i would say 
on, on the desktop on the desktop i would agree mm. i think we would start to see a lot of pro uh, i mean a lot of, a lot of people are coming from a, a technical perspective and are often working with linux on servers as well yeah i think that turning off x would be a, a huge problem for those people in particular mm. because i know that a lot of applications rely on x to work and also some some stuff like uh, rdp applications mm -hmm. You still use X and only work on X. And if that's implemented in some weird custom way, like the application is built for the protocol and the solution, then we are running into certain issues. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that some stuff doesn't work. For the desktop, I would agree, but there are a lot of stallers on, on the server side as well. Okay, that's which fair. Which use some desktop experiences there as well, some app streaming mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That, no, that's, that's that's fair. Like, I I don't think it should be done, right? You know, I, I, <laughs> it's it's got like the, the the timeline we have set right now. The the deadline we have set basically is the death of Roll Seven, because when Roll Seven's <laughs> dead, that means Red Hat is gonna stop maintaining Xorg completely because they have no reason to keep maintaining it, and that means basically nobody's maintaining Xorg. Mm. And it'll be fine for a bit, I guess. Do you have like a, a thing you've been refilling there? Because I I've noticed you drinking that. I don't it's think. You... <laughs> yeah, no. Do you have like a? I got I, I got I, a, I got a whole thing. Yeah. I, okay, that makes <laughs> sense. Cool. I thought I was going insane because I I kept seeing you drink and I didn't see the level go down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes sense now. But um, where was I going with that before I got sidetracked by magical tea? Um, <laughs> um, oh, right. Roll 7. We have a deadline set. They actually did extend the deadline for Roll 7 by another four years. I think it's like 2036 or something now. Uh, so it's a bit more time. But I hope by then... I hope it's not going to be one of these issues where people don't start taking it seriously until we're very close to the deadline. Because I know there's been a lot of projects, especially as of late, who are like, yeah, well, we're just going to drop Wayland support and just not even think about it. We're just going to go full X, uh, X Wayland, and it's going to work fine. Like, there's no plans to drop X Wayland for the foreseeable future. But I don't know if relying on that until the end of time is a good idea because there probably will come a time where there is discussions to drop X Wayland. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and part of the reason is, of course, because people are going to rely on X Wayland for stuff to work, mm -hmm. especially gaming currently. M that one is being just... worked on. Um, the, yeah, luckily. The, the wine but... devs, they have. I, I guess you would call it like rudimentary Wayland support. Mm. It's it's like a thirty part patch set series. There <laughs> there is so much work to go into doing this, but I find this pretty noble. But on the other hand, I, I guess a lot of people are developing apps because or they don't care to use X because there is X Wayland and mm. it will be there for the near foreseeable future. So why bother with Wayland and learning all? How, how you need to talk to each protocol mm. individually when you just could use X essentially and it will work anyway. Luckily, toolkits do think... alleviate a lot of that problem. Like if you're using Qt, you don't really need to think about it being Wayland for the most part because it does mm. abstract a lot of that out for you. Um, but if you're using some of the more like simple toolkits, uh, sometimes it's not as as kind to towards you. Mm. 